Someone asked me how to balance this equation, so this is how I'd do it. First, I'd count all of the atoms up. So I have one carbon and one oxygen, and then I have two hydrogens. On the product side, I have the eight carbons, one oxygen here, and 18 hydrogens. And if you forgot these two hydrogens here, that's probably why you're having problems with this particular equation. So we have a total of 20 hydrogens on the product side. I like to leave oxygens till last, and then we have hydrogen all by itself here, just H2. So if we put a coefficient in front of hydrogen, it won't change the number of carbons or oxygens. So we'll leave hydrogen until the very last. That leaves us with carbon. Put an eight as our coefficient. One times eight, that gives us eight of those. And the eight applies to the whole molecule. So one times eight, that gives us eight of those. Why don't we look at balancing the oxygens now? If I put an eight here in front of the H2O, one times eight, that gives us eight. So we've balanced the oxygens. Now let's update the hydrogens. So we have the 18 plus eight times two is 16. That gives us 34 hydrogen atoms. But again, hydrogen, it's by itself. So two times something gives me 34, two times 17. That would give me 34. 17 is our coefficient here in front of the hydrogen. We're done. This equation is balanced. If you had problems, it may be that you didn't count the number of hydrogens up correctly when you started. That causes problems quite often for people. If you're interested in the states, everything would be gases except here this octane, C8H18. That would be a liquid. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CO plus H2 yields C8H18 plus H2O. Thanks for watching.